Are you hungry for a real Highland treat out there in TV land? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, well, mm -hmm. just point the remote at yourself, Woody, and follow me into Butter Scotchy Land. Munchies. <laughs> Tuesday night's temptation. Wednesday night. <laughs> it's Thursday night and I'm all out of butter, scotchy finger pies. What'll I do? Oh, man. Come to Woody. Welcome to Cash and Dash. He is Nash. He is Lash. And, and that's, that's no, no trash. trash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm Woody. Ring me up. Heck, that don't rhyme. Uh, I is forgot my money. This is Nash and Lash's cash and dash. Not BB's freebies. Not Barry and Larry's take whatever you can carry. Not everything you see here is yours just because you wanted it to heck with anybody else, mister. Lash? Yeah, Nash? That didn't rhyme. Coffee's backing up. Hallelujah. Ha-cha-cha. I can practically taste those butterscotchy finger pies already. Hello, Woody. Ah, the sweet sound of my money. What is your pin number? Oh, keep it up and you're gonna get the old one, two, three. One, two, three is incorrect. Wait, that's not my number. Your card is being voided. I'm afraid I can't do that, Woody. Scotty finger pie. 
Dokie, sure. Crazy woodpecker. Butterscotchy finger pie, here I come. <laughs> drink. I need a drink. <laughs> Head headhunter of this here operation, I live by the headhunter's motto. If you want them, we'll get them. Required immediately. One penguin for placement in beautiful tropical Montezuma Zoo. Beg money to find her. It's a penguin, all right. Mush! Start the sled! Start the sled! I got him! Get my man. <laughs> what are you stopping for, pub? <laughs> Mighty large pair of underwear for such a little feller. <laughs> ah, this'll stick him. <laughs> This kind of thing, you know.
course you know what this means. I'm getting the bands again. Instant skunk. Just add water. <laughs> <laughs> This'll skunk him out. Isn't that thoughtful? Mmm, lapso apso oolong, my favorite. A little cream and lots of sugar. Mmm. I'm out of here. Look, kid, cut me some slack, will you? This is the offer of a lifetime. All I want is to take you to this tropical paradise. It's all expenses paid and tax deductible, plus all the fish you can eat. All right, all right, you can drive. Now, will you go with me? Phew! What a workout! Woohoo! The headhunters are finally here! We got the tank all ready! It's set to sub 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 zero temperature and comes with its own iceberg for the penguin. So, which one is the penguin? But no, it's it's it's. To quote my great granddaddy when he was taken into captivity. <laughs> Man, am I hungry, and this place is a mess. Sure is hard work being lazy. I need a new life. Chickens? Farm? What's going on down there? Mmm, nothing to do but relax. All the food you can eat. That's it. I'll be a professional chicken. <laughs> Gosh, what are you doing away from your nest? Never you worry. Mama will get your back so you can lay some nice fresh eggs. Lay eggs? Now what would I want to do that for? So you can make your quota. Quota? Yes, and once you've made your quota, you get your reward. Now get to work! Reward? Oh boy, that's for me. Now, where can a fella lay his hands on some eggs around here? 
Chicken has laid a million eggs. She is taken away to the door, where she enters into joy and eternal leisure. Joy? Eternal leisure? Anyways, as I was saying. Okay, okay, break it up, break it up. Get back to work, you lazy bums. Hey, where are all your eggs? Why aren't you meeting your quota? Uh, uh, because, uh, because I'm too hungry to lay eggs. Of course. Why didn't I think of that? What's cooking, Chief? You got some hungry wood I mean chickens down here. Gravel and quartz. Good for a chicken's gizzard. What's this handle for, Chief? Pull it to get your meal. <laughs> Profits, boss. How are the chickens doing today? Woody! Wait! For he's a jolly good chicken. For he's 
Cones only 25 cents. One super duper cool cone, Bob. Man, I gotta get out of this heat before I melt. Wally's Market, cool inside. Ha-cha! <laughs> it's a hot bun for sure, but my cool specials will bring in the cool cash, you bet. Say, where's the coolest spot in your market? The cool is for paying customers. Are you buying something, maybe? Listen, buddy, I gotta cool off before I can think about shopping. The heat out there almost melted my beak. Go cool someplace else. Nobody owns cool air. <laughs> Mommy, let's hurry. I want a popsicle. Oh, welcome back to Wally's Market, Mrs. Fanny Winkle. I'm always happy to see my best customer. Yeah. Ah, cool at last. <laughs> Time for the daily produce inspection. Good coloring, yeah. Firm, very nice rind. <laughs> ah, fresh. Mmm, <laughs> fresher. Mm. Say, uh, buddy, that's my melon. <laughs> there are you, you freeloading woodpecker. You're not going to use my cool air without paying for something. Psst. Try the melon on the bottom row. Wait a minute. Use it, you woodpecker! <laughs> you can't hide from me, woodpecker. Oh, boy! A pool! Fresh, Mr. Walrus. Ah, Dave, fresh. Why, you bet. It's the freshest woodpecker I will ever sell, yeah. I'll take it. Oh, man! <laughs> well, what do you know? The frozen food aisle. I'll never be hot again. Hey, uh, please, I make it up to you by giving 10% off all your purchases. 
Mēs uz fēnī vinkuļu! Vēt! Oh, my! You want cool, Woodbegger? I give you the cool! Gotcha! Oh, Mrs. Fanny Winkle, wait, wait! Mrs. Fanny Winkle, Mrs. Fanny Winkle, as my most valued customer, please accept this rare, one of a kind frozen woodsicle as a gift for your son. Wowie, can Zowie! A woodsicle! Oh, well. <laughs> if Francis is happy, all right. You're forgiven, Mr. Walrus. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on, that tickles. Oh, it's alive! Oh, I will never, ever shop you again! As a wildlife ranger, I'm sworn to protect all endangerous critters in these here harsh weather conditions. That means making sure the rare albino polar bear who lives in this here cave has food to eat all winter long, a nice warm place to make nappy time, and some entertainment appliances for his personal enjoyment. <sighs> now to get myself acquainted with the big fella. Huh? Now, just what the heck's going on hereabouts? Well, well, what have we here? Why, you're just a normal, everyday penguin. And this here stuff is for endangerous critters like the albino polar bear. So get... That big fella'll sleep like a baby cub on this here posterior pedic. You gotta be real careful with these ornery bear types. They can be mighty standoffish if and you don't make a good first impression. Say! <laughs> now you listen here, little fella. This bed is designed for the slumbering of one albino polar bear. <laughs> now come back here and... <laughs> Hello there, Mr. <laughs> well, my first encounter with the big fella didn't go so swell, but food is real hard to come by out here, and I'm sure this here Philette Mignon will warm him up to me. <laughs> Mr. Bear, got you some delectables. <laughs> I'll stay 20 paces away from the critter to show him that I am in no way his predator. This here penguin is really starting to crush my eyes. Sure is a 
Heavy little fella. <laughs> Y'all might want to avert your eyes. This is gonna hurt a bit, I reckon. Like it says in the Ranger Handbook, when in pain, always revert to the standard operating declaration. Ouch! Stay out of my preserve, little fella. I'm as sure as snow on Christmas that this big screen TV will win back <laughs> that fella's affections. <laughs> I'll just put the set on mute and program all the educational-like channels for this big fella's edification. <laughs> hmm, looks like my first aid training's gonna come in mighty handy in a few seconds. <laughs> You are banished from these here parts until such time as you are in dangerous, rare, or unique, which will be never. I am officially pronouncing this banished penguin territory, so you stay put. Well, hi and howdy there, little purple penguin. Don't see much of your kind around these parts. Wait a minute. You know, I'm not as dumb as he looks. <laughs> there ain't no such thing as a purple penguin, Mr. Purple Penguin. Impersonating an endangerous type critter is a serious offense against nature. You know what? That's not a half bad look for you, Mr. Bear. <laughs> It is the ultra rare tropical penguin and the tropical polar bear. What a find. Now, just a credit catch a minute here, short stuff. These creatures are in my charge, and I. For shame! A member of the ranger service chasing such endangered creatures? No, 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 no. These little ones deserve better. They deserve the tropical four star treatment. And you, my Arctic Ranger friend, will be sweeping out the tropical preserve paradise when I report you to headquarters! Whew. It sure is hot working here in this tropical nature preserve. <laughs> oh well, at least it's a dry heat. I'm the operator of this here establishment. Ribbit. Ribbit, now, if you want them eggs, you skedaddle into the barn here. You can have all the eggs you can carry. Yes, Ree. <laughs> Best 
10 dozen. Yummiest yolk. Most likely to be scrambled. <whistles> See how you been. Hey there, Feather Pie. I'm Booster, the giant rooster. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm just an old country rooster. Looking for a nest to share with a champion egg layer like you, my little chickadee. How's about sweets for a sweetie? Yeah, now we're getting somewhere. One custom-made nest cozy to keep those little champs' ears warm, Mama. Oh. Now come on out here so as I can meet you beak to beak. So I've come to pick out your best egg for entry and competition. We got a lot of big eggs this year. Don't know if yours are gonna qualify. <laughs> hmm, maybe. Possibly. Yeah, if you're lucky. Could be. Mm, I'll have to take these for an official review. If you don't hear from us, it's because there were bigger, better eggs out there. Now that's a prize winner. Why sweat the smaller stuff? When it comes to breakfast, bigger is always better. Oh, oh boy. In all the years me and Mort been doing this, you're the first one to get an egg. And that's some egg. What's the secret? 
sometimes you gotta break a few eggs to make an omelet. <laughs> so what say maybe you'd like a chance at a free side of bacon? Scientist who studies Boyd's in the Amazon is offering a thousand bucks for a rare red woodpecker. Ho oh, ho! Oh. Hiya, friendo. Mind if I play through? Oh! <gasps> Why, hello, chum. <laughs> Clearly, you are a talented golfer of profound skill and aptitudes. Have you ever played the Amazon Back Nine? I've never even heard of the Amazon Back Nine, bub. Well, then this is your lucky day. Because I, Buzz Buzzard, of Buzz Buzzard's Air Ground and Anywhere Else Just Want to Go Tours, have one seat left on my Amazon Golf Package. And I'm giving it away. Complimentary free-like. Free? We're breaking in a few new caddies down in the Amazon, and uh, we, uh, need a few golfers of your professional stabilities to, uh, uh, let us know what you think. Yeah. Wow. Free golf and my own caddy. Amazon, here we come. Now that's a water hazard. No picking. We don't want to spoil the rest of the course for years ahead of time. So long, suck it, yeah, Professor. Nice doing business with you. <laughs> <laughs> now you are mine, my gracious woodpecker. Oh, yes, into the cage so I can study you close up. <laughs> I never heard of such lousy service. I'm reporting. Whoa! <laughs> Good day. Basil Birdhound here. Oh, my caddy. Okay. Hey, uh, grab the bag, Basil. That's Basil. Where's the first fairway, anyhow? <laughs> Stay still, you silly bird. <laughs> yes, now there'll be no more laughter when the name Basil Birdhound is mentioned. Oh, must you worth, my old college professor, when I return to England and show you my brilliant studies on this one-of-a-kind bird, you will see once and for all that I... Have bird seed on the brain. <laughs> oh. Uh oh! So, the hunt is on! like a bad habit. <laughs> now, which way to civilization? What the? Basil Birdhound always gets his bird. Little 
red birdie! You wait for me! <laughs> you are all mine now! Yes, come, Basil Birdhound will study you and... Tea time. Huh? Won't you have a cup of tea? Oh, yeah. I love tea. <laughs> it is the most civilized of all social practices, don't you agree? Uh, quite. I rank it right up there with... Uh... Get you off my tail, you freak! <laughs> Tell ho! <laughs> so then I said to the judge, a stolen hat? But, Your Honor, it's not a hat, it's shoulder pads! <laughs> you get it? Shoulder pads! Oh, that is rich! <laughs> well, if Basil wants to show his rare bird studies to old Professor Mustyworth, then I'll help him do just that. <laughs> About time you showed up, bird hound. A bit of a sticky wicket, this jungle, eh, what? Uh, Professor Mustyworth, you look different. Didn't you learn anything in my class? Why ever are you chasing some run-of-the-mill red woodpecker? What are you thinking, dog? Uh, 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 professor, uh, how, how did you, uh, I, I mean... When right outside your door is the extremely rare, buzzardous, stupidness. Look for yourself. <gasps> yes! I see him, Professor. Oh, yes! He must be the stupidest bird in the animal kingdom. <laughs> uh, so, uh, go make him your life's work. Yes, yes, I shall doggedly hound him to the ends of the earth. <laughs> I must have the basset! <laughs> <laughs> Woody Woodpecker always gets the last laugh. Hunter Smedley, the world-famous finder of lost undersea treasures, am about to fulfill my lifelong mission. These here little old X's mark the secret spots of the underwater treasure that's up for grabs to anyone who's smart enough to find it. I'm going to locate it all and retire rich, rich, rich on the sunny beaches of Tahiti. Undersea treasure? Here I come! Huh? Well, shiver my timbers. That's sailor talk. Are you a stowaway? Yes. You, penguin! Like my mama always said, good riddance to bad rubbish. <laughs> out a certain stowaway and keep him from stowing away on my beach chair, permanent-like. My high-tech diving suit enables me to stay underwater longer than most divers. This here pirate ship sank over 300 years ago, and I'll just bet there's a big surprise waiting inside of this little old treasure chest. <laughs> Pirate Ghost! You again? Come back here and fight like a man, you little penguin! Whoa, 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 whoa. 
You're coming with me, you miserable little... Ah! Oh, no, you don't. I have had just about enough of this horseplay. Get off my sub and stay off. Bon voyage, little penguin. Fifteen men on a seaman's chest. Yo ho hum in a barrel of fun. This here powerful undersea vacuum can collect twice the booty in half the time. Why you? Give me back my key, you little vacuum clogger. Get back here. The wreckage of this here old battleship might contain some historical like treasures. Even an expert salvage hunter has to be careful using dynamite to free him up. Hmm. Sounds like something's already a might bit loose hereabouts. In this case, it's not. That boy is really starting to rust my to blooms. Cease and desist before I desist you myself. Uh oh. I'll just enter through the propeller shaft and surprise him to pieces. Yow! That does it, Penguin. It's Davy Jones' locker for you. Come back here, you little treasure trash of you. Oh! No! Don't open that one! your names and tell us your games. Hi, I'm Woody Woodpecker. I like long naps on the beach, breakfast in bed, and... <laughs> I'm Ms. Meany. I was a Navy SEAL and I take no prisoners. Now that's the kind of doggy dog spirit our viewers love on Extreme Island. Okay, the first challenge is food gathering. Ooh. Whoever
whoever stores up the biggest food supply and keeps the other from stealing it wins round one! Hey! Yo, Carl, where's my trailer? And, uh, where's all the snacks they have around TV show sets? I'm famished. F finding food's part of the game! <laughs> I've been over every inch of this island. There isn't a pizza parlor or a Hasty Mart anywhere. <gasps> hmm. Maybe I gotta start shopping at Mother Nature's supermarket instead. Huh? What? This is my coconut tree! It's survival of the fittest, not the dim-wittest woodpecker. <laughs> Carl wants to see dog eat dog, huh? I'll show him woodpecker eat. Ugh. What an amazing job! Military training, I learned to find food in the most out of the way places. Well, 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 hey. Mr. Woodpecker. Looks like Meanie's kicking your ever loving beach coming bum, don't it? <laughs> so, uh, what are you gonna do about it, huh? Competitors going at it, mono a mono. Now, our next competition is a real test of fortitude. Out of my way, woodpecker! That volcano of prizes is mine. She just put some kind of guest away hurting on you, hey, eh, Mr. Woodpecker? Out of my way, Carl. This woodpecker makes wide turns. Oh, home sweet home! What an amazing shelter! Is this yours, Meanie? Why, uh... Yes! Yes, it is, Carl! Do I win? What do you got? Sunstroke, this is my house! Well, there you go. Looks like it is! Woody Woodpecker wins round two! But my house was here first! <laughs> well, looks like a tie game. And that means it's time for... The Gauntlet of Endurance! This obstacle course leads to the very top of our volcano of prizes. As a tiebreaker, whoever gets there first wins everything! What, Hector? That does it! Just like I took pork chop pill back in the military! You want volcano? I'll give you volcano. Ah! Volcano erupting! Woohoo! I made it! I win! Woody Woodpecker! You've won everything in the volcano! Hmm. What's burning? <laughs> up another explosive episode of Extreme Island. 
Tune in next time when our new co-champions will face off against one another on a frigid, very remote island off the coast of Alaska! What? Not a chance! Not this one, Wait! Wait, come back! The, the, the audience loves you, too! No, I mean, 